Hi, food fans. Alton Brown here with the uh, Cutthroat Kitchen Cowboy episode post show with first time judge Clay Walker. Enjoyed it. So, the whole reason that we have a post show is to kind of illuminate the judge of the day as to some of the horrible things that we allowed human beings to do to each other. Chef Sierra bought these fine items. Bring it on in, guys. So here's the deal. Uh, one chef had to do the entire challenge wearing this saddle. Oh, you're kidding me. And another me. had to go through the entire challenge wearing these <laughs> bow-legged pants. And they're quite solid, oh, you see. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so there's no way to get out of them. Oh, man. I can't... <sighs> How's the saddle fitting, brother? Oh, not good, man. Not good? Oh. But you look good in it. This sabotage is killing me. Oh, buddy. I'm sweating, the cardio is going on, my legs are burning. So Chef Sierra gives me these freaking shafts, I and mean, I'm walking around like I just had a vasectomy. It's just making my life miserable. Woo! Next! <laughs> One chef had to do all of his cutting with spurs. Oh, this is sad. But there's more. He had to use them like this. <laughs> He's my kind of feller, he's stiff and dead. We gotta slice it here with good stiffy and them spurs he's wearing. It's sort of like being a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. It don't help a whole lot. He is good people. I know some of his kinfolk. They used to work at the funeral home. You stab them, we'll slab them. I think you've been drinking too much. Oh, that's gonna leave the mark. <laughs> yeah. uh, next, imagine doing your prep on saloon doors while an endless chain of bobs pushed their way oh through the gosh. doors. Oh my that's not possible. Because oh one God. chef <laughs> did so all of cruel. his prep right here. Now I have to cook while you got people walking through. It's gonna make it a big challenge. Cornbread. <laughs> you got high traffic over here, man. Do you? Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, take it outside, boys. Why? So one last thing, you've probably noticed the elephant in the uh, in the room, so to speak. Uh, yeah. And that's our covered wagon uh, sabotage from round two. Climb on up over there. Imagine two chefs up here doing all of their prep and all of their cooking. But there was a complication. What is that the f darn thing never what? stops rocking? Right? You've got Up to be here. kidding me. No, we never kid and cut the attention. If the wagon is a rocking, don't, don't bother knocking. Bother knocking. Bother knocking. Let's, go, 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 go. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's do it. They must be driving through a bad part of Oklahoma or Texas. These roads is beating them to death. This has got to be the most difficult cooking task I've had. Ah, oh, son of a. Well, thanks for being here. Uh, I'm, that's it, uh, all the time that we have. Thanks for watching Cutthroat Kitchen. Please continue to watch the show, and then afterwards come to foodnetwork.com slash cutthroat to watch stuff like this, which you are not going to see anywhere else on planet Earth. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you, brother. I want one of these at home. Clearwalker, everybody. Clearwalker, everybody. Yeah.